Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anka and I do art and illustration related videos. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and check out all the other videos on my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing my sketchbook, which I've used for over a year. I started using it in 2021 and you will see a variety of paintings in it. So the first spread is with animals uh, painted in Ecoline liquid watercolors. They are actually a sticker sheet in my shop and the postcard is from Joanna Clay. I will leave a link to all the artists uh, you can find postcards and different stuff in my sketchbook in the description. This spread is actually a wallpaper I did for my patrons. The floral painting is made in gouache and on the left side you will see a sticker and some swatches. So this spread contains an illustration with tigers. I also made a pattern from this illustration. I used the Artistro acrylic paints and swatched the colors and made a whole review on them and on the left side you will see some notes from <laughs> illustrators I bought stuff from. This spread is one of my favorites in the sketchbook. It's basically terrarium paintings. I used the Prima watercolors in Woodlands to paint them. So this spread contains basically wallpapers for Patreon. The spooky house is made with Ecoline liquid watercolors and I believe it was last year's October wallpaper and the pool is made with Artex jelly gouache and yeah I have a whole review on the jelly gouache on my channel. Uh, this uh, particular spread is basically me sticking a bunch of stuff on the left side. This is a tattoo sheet I have in my shop, which I made in my studio. These are some business cards from illustrators. I will leave the link to their Instagram. And the right side is an another wallpaper for Patreon. So here I started working on Inktober last year. I used Framtober's uh, prompts and uh, some of the pieces are pretty cool some of them <laughs> didn't turn out so great this is one of my favorite paintings I made during that Inktober I used just black ink from Windsor and Newton and washes of ink so basically the whole Inktober was an attempt for me to work on portraits and work on more conceptual pieces. This spread is not so great. I really hate the way the right side turned out <laughs> and I really hate her face. And the next spread is really nice. I like this portrait a lot. I think it turned out really nice. And it was really useful for me to work just in black and white since I am used to working in colors a lot. So a bunch of these Inktober pieces are either products in my shop uh, as you can see, this cat portrait is included in the tattoo sheet. On the left side, you will see a mermaid illustration. Some of these I used as postcards for my patrons or stickers. Yeah, I had a lot of fun during Inktober. This year, I won't be participating, as you can see. Um, this spread contains some block prints that I made for patrons, and I sent them out to them. And this cute cat mother and baby illustration. So this spread with Art supplies is actually another wallpaper I did for my patrons. They are actually some of my favorite art supplies that I own and use. And on the left side you will see some washi tape and the postcard I made from the illustration from the previous spread. And this is a sticker I made in my studio and I sticked it in a lot of places in my sketchbook because, because I tried different sticker paper. So on the left side you will see some fish illustrations and on the right side you will see another wallpaper spread for Patreon. Uh, the fish are sticker sheets in my shop as well. Uh, this illustration is made with gouache, acrylic gouache, and I really love it. It's a magical shelves art print in my sketchbook and I left a blank page apparently. So here I have the tattoo stencils that I got when I got my tattoo done with the tiger and I decided to keep them and on the right side is another wallpaper. This tiger illustration is actually a review I did for the Liquitex acrylic gouache. I'm really proud of this and you can find it in my shop as a tote bag and this sketch is from a Russian artist I can't remember the name of but I will definitely link it somewhere. I used to be a Patreon of hers and she makes amazing paintings. So here I have some washi tape and some notes and the dove illustration from when the war in Ukraine broke out and on the right side there are some floral illustrations with handmade metallic watercolors. This spread is pretty empty. I don't know why I left it like this. I might go back to it sometime. And this cat illustration is actually an illustration I made for zipped pouches. 
uh, I used watercolor mainly and some gouache and pencil brush sign pens and on the left is another wallpaper design which I actually wanted to make like kind of a tattoo design as well so this is around the time where I started practicing tattoos and this is the last spread in my sketchbook just some florals made in gouache I wanted to make some patterns and make new products so the sketchbook is from Stillman and Burn it's a very good sketchbook I think I will be re repurchasing it <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this sketchbook tour thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye